Hi, Kamsen here. This is a lesson about preparation for drawing production. There are a few model checking in advanced tier. The most obvious one is the crash check. Advanced tiers provide the crash check to ensure that the structure is crash free. We select crash check in the check-in panel and it will bring out the crashes that the system find in our structure. There are three crashes in the structure. When you select any of the crashes, the system will focus on the crash location. This allows us to see the crash clearer. Sometimes when the model is big, you might not know where the crash is. You can use the mark object to actually show an arrow pointing to the position of the crash. Let's do it again for the other two crashes. You can see the location of the crash quite easily. Let's resolve the crashes. To resolve the first two crashes, let's call out the advanced joint property for the joints and change the parameter. Let's adjust the opening start and end positions. We have adjusted the joint so that it doesn't crash with the two supporting beams. For the last crash, we can update the connection. We use the copy from an existing connection to update this connection. Now we will run the crash check again. We have now resolved all our crashes. Next, we are going to check on the connection of our structure. We select the shop connection and we select the column. The assembly that will be fabricated in shop will be marked. We can also change these mark elements to selected element. You can select the icon besides the show shop connection to show that the structure is totally connected. This will mark the whole structure. We select clear mark object to clear the marking. We select connection means to check how the objects are being connected. This information can be seen in the command line. We can point to these objects by choosing the search for mark objects. You can see that the connection means are now marked with arrows and you can zoom in and focus on any part of the connection that you want. We just show you a method to see how the structure elements are being connected together. Next, let's set up some camera view. Before we set up camera view, we need to set the UCS to the view direction.
after the UCS is set, we move on to the tool palette. We select camera view from the tool palette. We locate a point for the camera. Next, we set the type of camera. The type of camera is a value used in the rules of the drawing production. Next, we will set up how much the view is extended to the front and to the rear and also how big is the area of the view. We change the view to the direction of the view. Let's move the view box to the center of the view that we want. That completes our first camera view. Next, we will create another camera view. Our view will look west. We will now go through the same process of setting up the UCS and setting up the parameters and moving the camera to the view that we want. This time, we we'll stretch the grid to fill up the full view. Perhaps we can change the color of the view layer to make the view clearer. Before we can do drawing creation, we have to mark every piece of element in our structure model. We use numbering for this. First, let's set the prefix settings. The prefix can be set up for all the different elements in the steel structure. Let's take a look at the prefix setup for plate. Under the plate, there are different rows for the plate. So, for example, when the plate is a gasseter plate, the single part is P and the assembly is P. We can set up other prefix, but now we use the default as the current profile to use for our numbering. Let's remind ourselves the properties of an advanced element. In the naming, you can see there's preliminary part. 
mark, single part mark, and there is also the model row. Let's start the numbering process. In the numbering process, we can set up three marking, the preliminary mark, the single part mark, and the assembly marking. So for this case, we are going to process the single parts and the assembly. Note the different method of forming the name of the assembly and the name of the single part. When it's ready, we can start uh, marking the parts. In numbering the parts, what we are doing is to put together all the parts with the same properties into a single piece mark. You can see the different parts, single parts, main part in the numbering list. Let's inspect the property of the plate that we showed you before. You can see that the single part and the main part number has now been updated. We are ready to do our drawing. See you in the next lesson for drawings. Bye!